it's been a long day and I feel like I didn't really get anything done, but I know I did. It's just when I look around here, it's just, I don't know. It looks like a disaster, doesn't it? Well, I'm hungry. It's over past four o'clock and I'm frying up some onions and some potatoes. Because I want to, I'm going to take it and uh, put a bunch of eggs whipped up in it. And I'm going to eat that for dinner tonight. I just feel like eggs. I want onions and potatoes, you know, just one of those things sometimes. They are cook. Cook you bad boys. At least my oven's clean because I never use it. I will wipe it out, though, before I move out. And I was, you know, I don't know, I just like to keep my stuff around me so it's all over the place. That's not bad, is it? This is my Lazy Susan. I'll leave that for the lady. Maybe I'll leave her some of the spices. She might want them. What have I got? Cayenne, that's newer. D uh, basil, that's newer. That's newer. That's newer. Hey, actually, it's not as old as I... That's old. Still works. That's brand new. That's newer. That's old. And then there's stuff underneath. Hey, I got green tea and I didn't know it. Yeah, well, you know how that goes. So why am I making this video? I don't know. It's lonely in here. Maggie's always busy. Michael's gone to work. Denny's probably gone to... I wonder if Denny could take me. Monday I want to go look at a couple of vans, but Dennis doesn't know anything about vehicles. Maggie knows the most. Mikey has some experience because he's had some bad vehicles. It's just scary. I'm scared to buy a van, and now there's two of them Good prices, not totally low miles, but one's like 120000 the other one's under 44000 But, you know, they're on vehicles that can do up to 300,000 miles. Not without work, don't get me wrong. And I just, I don't know. I could do so much. If I had my own rig, I could start getting my stuff over to Mike and Maggie so that I could sell. You know, you're always, can't your kid? No, they can't. I ask, and, and they love me, and they gladly help me. They help me, in, especially in an emergency, but, you know, they got a family, too, you know? Denny now is better, so he could take me around. He knows absolutely nothing, but, you know, he's observant. He might see something I miss. I really need someone to lay down on the ground and look underneath. My knees are so sore, I think it'd be rough on me, but I'd like to look underneath the vehicle. I could bring my pillow. I have it on the floor right now. So that, well, I have an old pillow that I use for, like, you know, construction and stuff like that. Right now it's stuffed in that hole in the door that those people cut, and I think it was supposed to be a doggy door or something. I don't know. Oh, that should be smart if I cover it up. That's really all I'm thinking right now. I'm thinking about vans. But sometimes I feel like in my heart what Rachel said. She said, Mom, when your van is out there, you're going to know it and it's going to wait for you. Maybe she's right. It just seems like every time I try to go see a van, it just doesn't work out. And I missed one up in Spring Hill. I got mad at the guy instead of saying, yeah, I'll be there at 10 in the morning. I just didn't answer him. Just something was like, I'm not so sure that's my van. It was very, very nice. But it was very, very nice in a classic conversion van sort of way. And I think what I really want is a raw work van that I can work with and make it any way I need to make it. When there's carpeting on the walls and there's carpeting on the floor, 
you don't have in the seats, lots of seats. And the bed is already in the back, and that might not be where I want it. I kind of want my bed to be small, a twin, maybe right behind the seats, which could encumber the problem with the sliding side doors. I don't know yet. I want to be able to roll right off my bed and get right into that driver's seat if I ever should need to. And I'd always make sure I was parked so that I could escape a bad situation easily. Not that there'll ever be one, but be prepared, right? Did you ever see that, um, <laughs> what was that, uh, movie? It was a cartoon about Red Riding Hood, and there was, like, this detective and a, and a squirrel. Oh. I can't remember it, but there was a goat, okay? There was a goat who lived in the mountain, and he had to live alone because all he could do was sing all the time. He had to sing because he was under a spell. And he sang the song, Be Prepared. If I could just remember the name, it was one word. They did a second one, but they really ruined it. The first one was really funny. I just can't remember. I'm going to look it up on my computer. I'll find it. Hoodwinked! Hoodwinked! Yes, you got to go on YouTube. Well, you're already on YouTube. And you got to put in Hoodwinked Goat Song. you got to see that. It totally cracks me up. I'm laughing just thinking about it. I used to do a really good imitation of the goat singing, but I'm not going to do that for you today. Let's check on those onions and potatoes, shall we? Whoa! Look at all that water that collected. Ooh! She's a brown enough. Oh, what is it about fried potatoes and onions that I love so much? I just can't tell you. I just love them. Ooh, look how brown that one got. I wish the other ones would do that. Well, I guess they are. I'm just not turning them right. I just liked Hoodwinked in general. I think it was hilarious. And you know what? I wonder if it's free. I bet it isn't. They'll want money to see that one. I'd gladly sit with my eggs and watch that tonight. It was hilarious. The squirrel, and it was a reporter. It was a reporter who was a wolf. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just too funny. It's all these references to, like, fairy tale characters, and, um, yeah, you'd have to watch it to truly understand. And she's looking for this road, right? And so the goat takes her on this insane trip through this, like, coal mine underground in one of those little, you know, coal carts, like like a, a roller coaster ride, and it's just so darn funny. No, really, you just got to see it. Okay, hang on a minute. I'm checking my potatoes. This looks good enough to eat. Oh, look at that. Look at that. I'm going to have to do cooking like that in a park. Do -do 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 -do. Remember Barefoot in the Park? Do -do 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 -do. Robert Redford, who was extremely hot. He's old. He's old. Everybody's old. And let's see, who was the other one? Jane Fonda? Do -do 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 -do. Did you ever see Book Club? That was just too funny. I'm sorry. That was funny. I like to see some movies made for us old people, like um, like the one with, uh, what's her name, Diane Keaton? She did that one where she's dying. Have you seen that one yet? Something about fireworks, and I don't know. She goes to this, like, community because, like, she's sick, and she ends up making friends, and it just was good. It was good. She was an antique dealer, right? And it shows her, like, selling out her stuff and getting ready to move, and... I don't know. I really like that one. What was the name of that one? If you remember what the name of that one was, would you please put it in the comments? I want to see it again. I know it got really bad reviews, but I liked it. Okay. What I got going here? Okay, just one time for the goat. <clears throat> no, never mind. 
Now I'm going to force you to watch it. You have to watch it, okay? I used to be really good at doing voices and characters and stuff. Uh, foghorn, leghorn, leghorn, foghorn, you know, Bugs Bunny type stuff. Okay, here go the eggs. And I know this is a lot of potatoes and onions, and it's also a ton of eggs, but the whole thing I'm thinking of is, you know, those Walmart eggs that are now $4 for 18 count, they're creepy looking. They just don't look right. Oh, why don't I show you what I'm doing? See? Right. Okay, um, because this is a lot of egg, I think I'm just going to stir it instead of trying to make it stay one piece, you know? I so desperately want to start singing the goat song. What is wrong with me? I'm a sick person. Things just get into my mind and get stuck there. Creepy. They're creepy. They're not mixing right. Creepy eggs. I don't like that. Come on, lay down. You know what? I'm going to look for that spatula because I'm just getting air. What happened to it? Oh, for the love of Pete. Oops, it's dirty in the sink. I'm going to have to do this fast. I'll be right back. I used my slotted spoon. It was an emergency. All right. Well, that's pretty much it. It looks lovely, does it not? I don't like it usually browned. I think it tastes weird when eggs are browned. I like to keep my eggs light, but that's not what happened here because it just wasn't fast enough. All right. So that's it. I'm done cooking dinner, and, uh, yeah. I'm going to take this off. Like a so. Probably gonna melt that spatula. Shut my heat off. Pour myself a glass of juice. Call it a day. Now you promise me that you're gonna go and look under hoodwinked and the goat scene. It's too good. It's too good to miss. It's if you like a laugh, if you like things that are like really off the wall, this is that. I'm gonna go watch it now myself. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. That's for you, Esther. <laughs> Bye.